So it's December right now. We're in the garden. I've got all these ginger plants next to me. And the reason they're next to me is I'm going to be showing you guys how to separate ginger plants to create even more plants. So first we got to make up some soil. Now ginger plants, they like well-drained soil. So let's go through the mix. I've already pre-made my mix here, but I'll tell you all the ingredients that I have in it. We farm veganically, meaning we don't use any animal products. So I'll go through this mix and I'll tell you everything in it. We always start with some compost. And this compost, you can see it's nice and dark and black. That compost is uh, it's just broken down leaves and stems and bark and they just break it down and uh, it turns into this beautiful black soil. So that's my main ingredient. And then over to the left here, I've got just some some uh, some soil from the yard. When I was digging a hole, I pulled a bunch of soil up. So I threw some of that in my mix. I've got some pure light, so I'm gonna throw some pure light in there, uh, which will, will definitely help with the drainage. Uh, in your mix, you, you wanna avoid peat moss and coconut core, because the peat moss and the coconut core are meant to, to hold water. And with the ginger, uh, you don't necessarily want a whole lot of water on your plant. Now ginger likes phosphorus, so uh, I'm going to be adding some amendments into my mix. I already did that. I'll show you what I put in there. So I threw in some, uh, this is some azomite. So I put in some azomite. I put in some rock phosphate. And I put in, this is green sand. So I've got 46 of these one gallon containers. And that's what I'm estimating the amount of ginger that I'm gonna be separating today will come out to be. All right, so next what we're gonna do is we're gonna start separating some of these, these roots. And how I'm gonna do it is I'm gonna take it out of the container it's in and then I'm gonna stick it in this bucket of water. The bucket of water is going to loosen up those roots and allow me to move freely and squeeze and try to separate all of the, uh, the different roots. So a cool thing about these plants is they're shallow rooted, so you don't really have to dig that deep when you're pulling them out of these pots. They just sit on that first top half of soil. see with this one you've got new growth popping up right here and right here so we want to separate these two because they're own, they're their own individual uh, ginger plants see, so there it's separated now when I plant this I'll plant this down like this and this little plant right here that's popping up will continue to grow okay and here's the other one so you can see with this one there's three new ginger plants I can pull from this. There's this one right here which has new growth there, new growth there, and then you've got this old one where the the leaves have actually died back but you can cut that and that'll regrow. So now we just got three ginger plants. See, still got roots on this one, still got roots on this one, and then you still got a little roots on either side of this one and this one actually has leaves on it so we just got three ginger plants there okay so you can see there's new growth coming up right here this little green thing so I'm gonna stick this in the dirt just like this and that new growth will pop up okay so here's our next one so I'm going to keep this nice long one here. There we go. We got one plant. It's got leaves on it still. A lot of root. And then we've got this guy here. 
So this one I'm just going to leave as is. You can see we got new growth coming up here. We got another new growth coming up here. This is old growth here, but there's no way for me to cut this and still get, get roots under it. All right, so we got one. All right, out of our first bucket, we've got 10. Pretty nice. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these gingers and put them in those one gallon buckets. I've got all the one gallon pots in front of me here and what I did was I only filled the pots up halfway and that's just because the ginger is only going to sit on that top half of the, uh, the soil. That bottom half is really not going to be used. So I filled it up so then I could take another one and just fill it. top it off. So there you go. If you plant the, the ginger plant too deep, then the stem will become too moist and then the stem will just break off from rot. So you want to avoid that. So you don't want to ever plant the ginger plant too deep. It's also got shallow roots like I said earlier so those, those roots are really only going to sit on that first half of the pot anyways. If you're planting ginger root, which is what this is, it's got no leaves or stem to it but it's got a lot of roots so I think it could potentially turn into something like this. So how I do this is I just take my one gallon, dig down about two to three inches and then I just pop it in there. And just cover it up and then just keep it watered and then eventually this will turn into something like this. Now when you're watering this stuff, what I try to do is I try to water it and then I let the soil on top completely dry out before I water it again. And the good way to test this is just stick your finger in if it's dry, it needs some water. You know, you want well-drained soil. You don't want these this super wet. If it gets super wet, then you're gonna get rot and the plant's not gonna grow or do anything. The other thing is, is during the winter time, a lot of the amendments get, get leached from the actual soil. So, the reason I wasn't adding nitrogen and potassium and calcium and magnesium or potash is because I didn't want that to be leached from the soil. We're going into the winter time. These plants are going to be dormant. They're just going to be chilling. They will establish better roots. And then when it comes springtime, I'll add those, those other amendments. Phosphorus is the only amendment that doesn't get leached from the soil. So that's why I was adding phosphorus, but I wasn't really adding any of my other amendments. So some of these ginger plants, they're, uh, you know, they can't handle their own weight. They're falling over. So one thing you can do is just take some bamboo, stick some bamboo in there, and that's going to hold them up. You know, you want the stems nice and strong, and if you overwater them, you're going to get them falling over kind of like they are right now. So day two of planting this ginger, it took me two days, I lost light, 
yesterday but today we got back out here and we finished planting them all so I got 66 total now what I'll do is I'll wait till the spring comes along and then I'll fertilize them and then they'll grow all throughout the summer the fall and then come like around this time next year we'll be able to enjoy some of that ginger we planted. Alright, well I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.